Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see the proof of the difference rule followed by some examples. So let us state the function. Let y be equal to difference of two functions, f of x minus g of x. Let the two functions be f of x and g of x, and the difference of the, those two functions, we'll write it as f of x minus g of x. Then, applying the, the derivative formula using limits, we can write this one as follows. dy by dx is going to be equal to limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h minus f of x, this whole thing divided by h. Then, substituting the given function into the formula, we have we have limit as h approaches 0. We can write this one as f of x plus h minus g of x plus h. This is one part. Minus of f of x, f of x minus g of x like that. The whole thing divided by h. Now, we can distribute the negative sign to every one of the terms inside the second set of brackets in the numerator part, and then we can simplify it as follows. Limit as h approaches 0. The numerator part is going to be f of x plus h minus g of x plus h we're going to distribute the negative sign now minus of minus of f of x negative times negative is a positive so that is going to be plus g of x like that and then the whole thing divided by h like that now if we were to if we were to collect the uh, f terms and then g terms together, we can write this as follows. Limit as h approaches 0. In the numerator, we have f of x plus h minus f of x, like that. And then I'm going to put that in another set of brackets there. Minus, I'm going to pull out the minus sign outside of the brackets here, minus g of x, x plus h, minus g of x. Now, negative times negative will be positive, so therefore I can write, uh, when, when I pull out the negative sign, that is, the, that is what happens here. Therefore, the whole thing divided by h, and I'm going to close the brackets. So now, as we can see, we can apply the limits to this set alone, we can apply the limits to each part, uh, each part of the numerator, uh, each part of the numerator of this particular function here, and therefore write it out as limit, uh, limit as h approaches zero, f of x plus h minus f of x. This whole thing divided by h, like that, minus limit as h approaches 0, g of x plus h minus g of x, this whole thing divided by h. And therefore, as we know that the limit as a h approaches 0, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h, this part isn't that equal to isn't that equal to f prime of x and the sim and similarly here g of x plus h minus g of uh, g of uh, limit as h approaches 0 g of x plus h minus g of x divided by h this part is 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 the same as saying the first derivative of x like that so therefore we can come back and then write this as 
write this as follows if y is equal to difference of two functions f of x minus g of x like that then then dy by dx is going to be equal to f primes of x plus g prime of x I'm sorry this is a negative sign there should be a negative sign here there should be a negative sign there so dy by, by dy by dx is going to be equal to f primes of x minus g prime of x so I'm going to put a box around this and then state it in words as follows the derivative of the difference of a function is the difference of the derivatives is the difference of the derivatives so that is the way we want to understand the proof and now let us look at a simple example based on this example let's say we have a function of this kind y is equal to x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 3 the difference of two functions so the way we want to we want to find we want to find dy by dx we want to differentiate this function with respect to x so the way to do that is as follows dy by dx we can write this one out as d by dx the uh, of x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 3 like that or we can also state uh, write it out as d by dx of individual functions x to the power of 5 minus d by dx of d by dx of x to the power of 3 like that now it is very similar to uh, the power rule so therefore in the first part n is equal to 5 and therefore the, der uh, the derivative of x to the power of 5 with respect to x is going to be equal to 5x to the power of 5 minus 1 and the second part minus in the second part uh, d by dx of x to the power of 3 n is equal to 3 here so therefore 3 x to the power of 3 minus 1 n x to the power of n minus 1 so therefore when we simplify this this is going to be 5 x to the power of 4 and in the second part this is going to be equal to 3 x to the power of 2 so 5 x to the power of 3 minus 3 x to the power of 2 is the is the uh, derivative of of the given function x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 3 so let us put a box around this indicating that this is our answer in my next presentation we shall see examples using the sum and difference rule um, uh, to solve some more problems